Hi, my project is called Get Level Logic Simulation with GP GPUs. I work my I work with my mentor DTC and Professor Bataco. So, what is simulation? And when, so for a hardware designer, when when he designed the H, uh, designed the network using HDL, we need to synthesize 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 it and verify verify it. So the main part is that we need to check the equivalence of the function and and our original design. That is a mini simulation. But the problem with this part is that the netly simulation is extremely slow. That is just the problem we want to solve. And the the solution we provide is we use the architecture called CUDA, which is invented by uh, invented by the company NVIDIA. And so for this architecture, we have a main memory called global memory, and we have many stream processors. And several some several stream processors is organized into a multi processors. And also, there is a shared memory for in the multi processors for each stream of for access of each stream processors. And some features is that some features are that all threads could execute the same program, and ex the thread the stream processor can access different memory location locations based based on the thread ID. And there is so there is some different feature for the different pieces of memory. For the same memory, it's very fast. It could access be, be accessed in one cycle, but it, there is only limited memory there. For the global memory, although there is a large chunk of global memory, but the we can the access time is very slow. Okay, so what is our event driven simulation? So it's net it's a levelized net list and the input change value creates a new event and this event propagate if the output of the gate change. So this requires a central control for the scheduling gates. And the scheduler needs to maintain the event queue. And also the scheduler work should work at a fine granularity. Otherwise it will cause a grid overhead for the GP GPU. Then which means our the performance uh, the performance of our simulation will be reduced. So our project needs to find a a fine granularity for this scheduling. And so from the GPGPU perspective, in the uh, in, uh, individual threads will simulate an uh, individual gates, and the small fraction gates are simu simultaneously active, and the frequent Synchronization across all threads are needed is needed, and how do we get a better granularity? We group each thread block simulates uh, into a uh, micro gates, uh, and that is uh, an independent chunk of logic, and the internal net values are stored in faster shared memory for performance. That's also that's also the benefit of you of micro gates. And how do we have the micro gates? First, we levelize all the nets based on the at least as possible scheme. And then we partition the levels into layers. And third, we get the coins based on the nets on the layer boundary. And last, we will merge the coins together to get our micro gates. So this and this is the picture for our net list. For our net list, we have primary outputs and register inputs. We also have primary inputs and register outputs. First, we levelize them based, based on at least as possible. And then, we based on a 
specific gas value, we partition the levels into layers. And then, and then as you can see in the middle, there is a coin. And then we merge the coins into, uh, each coin has only one output. And then we merge the coins into the micro gates. And for the micro, each micro gates has multiple input and output. Uh, not like a gate, not like a gate, but they are they are very similar. The events are monitored. The events are monitored as as the gate micro gate boundary, and the nest on the boundary are called the monitor nest. So we mon so we will check the net the monitor nets to see which uh which micro gates on that layer should be should be executed at nice at each cycle. And inside the inside the micro gates we also uh levelize the levelize the gates. And uh, so for each level for each level of gates we think we put a synchronization barrier there to ensure that all the data is ready for uh, for for the next layer. So how do we build the micro gates? In there uh there is some problem there because if the if the night in the micro gates is not that is not close enough or or the Coins in each micro gates is uh, in the micro are not lower life. Then we need we need more. Uh, then we we cannot guarantee that we have a great parallelism. So first, in each layer, we pick the coin with the most uh, nets, and then we will check the nets with the with the maximum over life with our current coin, and then we merge them. So we repeat this process until we have enough nets in this in the current micro gates. Then we return the initial step. Uh, pick the pick the coins we uh pick uh, the coins in the re in the remaining group with the maximum uh with maximum nets, and then we will check other uh we will check other coins. So how do we balance the micro gates? We want all the threads working at all threads, and we need to rebalance gate schedule within a micro gates to inc increase the utilization. And this is the trade of latency for utilization. So after our balance, we we make sure that we have fewer idle threads in each micro gates. So this is the uh, total nest, uh, the general nest structure before we send the nest list into the GPU. And then this is, uh, so this is the compiling part. After each, another feature of the current project is that we separate the process of compiling and running. So there is a three, several benefits. First, we can reuse the compiled netlist to test a different kernel design. And second, we we can get the actual kernel running time. And the last, since some netlist is large and the compiling time is relatively long, and this separation could improve our research efficiency. So next is our kernel part. Uh, in the in the GPU, the running uh, the running part is called the kernel. There are three parts in the kernel. Uh, in the kernel, first we need to simulate the net list, and second we need to schedule the triggered kernel, and third we need to schedule the input and read output in each cycle. So all uh, my my current web project my project currently at this stage, and unfortunately we haven't got uh, our our main result, and we don't know how fast we can we can perm, we can get how faster we can get the simulation. So thanks for listening.